Hey, welcome back. District Chief Executive of South Tongo, Emmanuel Agama, says the unavailability of materials in Ghana is a cause of the delay in rehabilitati rehabilitation of the Sogakofe Bridge Expansion Joint. Residents say five people have died on the defective portion on the stretch since 2016. We'll be hearing from the DCE on the delays, but here is Maxwell Agbabas' September 2018 report on two mothers who lost their children on the 650-meter bridge. He has three children and they are all in school. He was the one who used to provide all my needs. It's so hard to feed myself now. Sometimes I feel like committing suicide. Voice of mother of 30-year-old Ebenezer Tonyeva narrating to me how she lost her son when we spoke to her in March this year. She said the bridge was poorly lit and had an uneven surface around the expansion joints. <laughs> Two months after Ebenezer's mother made a passionate appeal for the bridge to be fixed, another man, 20-year-old Bestway Kwabla Clinton, died at the same spot. Here, family members drop wreaths on his coffin as they bid him farewell. He is my only son. I sent him on an errand for the family and he left on a motorbike. We were in the house when people came to inform us that he was involved in an accident at the same defective spot where others have been injured in the past. He suffered head injuries and died some hours later. Although we did not know God's plan, I was hopeful he would take care of me when I become old and weak. He was not sick. It is a painful experience. It is uh, 6.30 p.m. and it is already pitch dark on the Suga Copper Bridge. Well, many months after we reported um, the death of a motor rider on this stretch because of um, poor lighting and uneven surface of this stretch, it looks like um, the managers of this bridge have not done anything to save the situation. Let's now hear from the DCA, Emmanuel Agama, who says although the problem was fixed with bitumen, it has been ripped off. He says also the unavailability of materials in Ghana is delaying repairs. We as an assembly, we assisted Ghana Highway Authority to uh, cover up the port hole on the expansion joint where the accident usually happens. Now the material used is not the type of material that was to be uh, used, but bitumen. And the materials that is supposed to be used according to Ghana Highway Security Engineers are materials that we don't have in Ghana is being imported from outside Ghana. But moreover, the bridge has been awarded to a contractor. And the other time I spoke with the engineers, I was told uh, they have sent them for the contractor to move to site. And they have contacted their uh, counterparts, foreign counterparts, to get them the materials needed. Not only for that portion, but the entire expansion joint on the bridge is better to repair all than the, the very one that is causing the problem. So how, how soon are they going to import those materials so that um, the expansion joints can, can be fixed properly? Yes, so I was told by them before Easter, uh, the items who arrive and commencement on the, uh, the, uh, the repair works on the bridge will commence. But, uh, last week I spoke with the engineer. According to him, uh, the materials are on the high seas so and very soon uh, it will land in Ghana for the work to start. And on that note, we wrap up, but be careful on the road. And if you see something, say something. I'm talking about getting yourself secured in these times of increased uh, crime. But log on to myjoyonline.com for more news and information. And if you do scroll down on that page, you get to see our YouTube link. We stream live, and so you get all of our videos 
on our YouTube link. Our top story is there for you. Certainly boils down to corruption and what the president has been saying about it. But the conversation is still ongoing on Twitter. I join news on uh, uh, on Twitter and on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash join news on TV.